music is that it hits the brain at a variety of different levels. When one engages in musical activity, they need to have balance, they need to have coordination. It really incorporates a lot of different areas of the brain, so it's a wonderful way of keeping people's minds active. sitting here with three people and, and the cello, and the cello. I'm learning to play the cello. No, no, I'm just telling you the news. This is something new. <laughs> Mike, we're going to talk about sitting today. Okay. And when you play the cello, I want you to sit. We always sit at the edge of the seat. So why don't you sit at the edge? That's good. And yes, the feet should be spread apart. That's beautiful. And the back should be tall. And like that. And sit tall. My name is Maddie. I'm 89 years old. And I'm just beginning to learn to play the cello. It's a challenge and I always pick up challenges because I feel that life is much more interesting when you do things. First line A. Fifth line A. Oh God. And it's always on the top and right. it makes me feel like it's on the bottom. You got okay. it. All right. A is the fifth line. D is the third line. G is the fifth first line and as you see the C has we have drawn we draw some lines for the C so it's we draw, like an extra line we draw but, two extra lines right A, A D, D G, G C. C. C C C G D A I don't think I had a specific moment when I said I wanted to play the cello I just thought it would be so wonderful to be able to play an instrument that sounds like that. And it just gradually became more and more of a, I guess I'd have to call it a strong fantasy. I was going to play the cello when the day came that I had time to practice properly. And so when the day came, I did it. <laughs> One thing I like about it is I have to sit tall. When I called my family, and I told them that I was going to study the cello. My brother-in-law laughed, and he said, you're kidding me, he says, it's too big a, an instrument for you to be playing. I says, I was asked to volunteer. All right, he says, I don't think you can make it. Then my nieces and my nephews, they said, great. That gave me encouragement to go on. But if everybody said you won't make it, I probably would decide that I shouldn't do it. But encouragement is, is a wonderful thing. And that boosts you to do other things. Now we're gonna pluck, and towards your left is an A string. A, D, G, D, G, C. And we're gonna use your right hand to pluck. We're going to place the thumb where this sticker is. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the pointer to pluck with. Yeah! Just the one finger. Just the one finger. Oh, nice. Older adults can learn new things every day, and in fact, being engaged, being active, having meaningful experiences is key to who we are as, as individuals and as human beings. Beautiful. A, D, G, and C. Alright, I got it. Okay, look, look, look. Get her 
that's it. Good job. Next. Now look. That's it. Pluck one. Then pluck three and four. Not yet. He's up. And now comes the four. Yes. That's it. 85-year-olds who engage in exercise activity can build muscle mass, can reduce their rate of fractures, can increase their activities of daily living just by doing simple weight training, using exercise bands, walking, swimming, water aerobics. Any kind of activity is better than being sedentary, and it doesn't have to be very, very strenuous. Okay, my dear. So what we're going to do you want to do a punch, oh. and I'm sliding back, I'm moving my fingers back, oh. and as I do so, my elbow's going to come by my side. Oh. Okay. See, but also I'm creating resistance against okay. the bow. Slide back, wide open, fingers, extending fingers, the second one under, you got it. Not from that, not yet. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the bow up, oh. and you're going to place it, that's it. Straight up, straight up, come down. No. What's the purpose of this? Just to keep it balanced. Oh. See how we probably want to keep the tip balanced so it doesn't go like this? Yeah. But you keep it straight. Okay. I didn't know the purpose. In order to do my cello practicing, I bring the cello from the corner over to my chair. I have to look at the music sheet, hold the strings, myself ready and then I start to read the notes and use my hands to practice. Here's, here's where I pluck and here's where I hold. I hold. Okay. Now, here it goes. Making good sound or not? Then I'm going to try it again. Open and then close. That's better. Oh, I'm going back. Open and we're going to the last one. And then close. position again. And then the next position I always go is uh, the um, uh, D, the D position. And then close position with the D and back to D again. I have pretty bad osteoarthritis in my hands, and I think playing has slowed down the progress of my osteoarthritis because I notice that my hands feel better if I play for an hour or so. I just want you to feel it. Yeah. Feel it with your hand and then let, let go and push. Going this way. <laughs> Music brings so much to people of any age, but especially to people who are older. Just because how we respond to music as human beings, the sense of beauty, the sense of, um, of sound and what the sound does to us for our feelings, our emotions, our um, just way of looking at the world. Okay. 
this, you know, having a good angle. Remember, and it's resting and it's pulling, right? Go. <laughs> better since I did it all right and uh, I have to concentrate a little more and just watch my my fingers here and the bow has to be here and at an angle and, and, and down down here and I, I think well I need you around much more <laughs> you're the one that's directing me and doing very well. Activity is key to staying well. But I would add to that having a passion. Have something that excites you, a reason to get up, something that you can't wait to do. And it can be as simple as cooking, playing bridge, playing an instrument. All of those things really, really help people do well into their older years. The music is always there. If you weren't for the music, you wouldn't get the feeling of the actions. Music is height of all art. And this is what I do throughout life, as my husband taught me to do. He says, Every day is an experience, and every day you can start learning, and uh, I follow through. Should have given me the other cup, which has a happy face. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs>